Greetings. What I'm doing now is uh, firing this little wood kiln that I built down here at the pottery studio. And I've got a load of work in here. Not sure how many pots exactly, but you can see it's a pretty small kiln. I built it to uh, test out some glazes and fire pots temporarily while I'm uh, kind of waiting to build a bigger kiln, put, put my bigger kiln back together. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the final step of the process that I'm using to uh, make these pots. I'm firing to cone 10 or so. I'm gonna see what happens. But I'll show you what this kiln looks like. Let's see here. This is the firebox. Got these kind of twig sized sticks that I'm feeding into the fire. As I do that, keeping an eye on the chimney and seeing how much smoke it makes. If the smoke starts to get too black and thick, then I've stoked too much wood. So I want to keep it that kind of puffy gray color. Pretty soon here, there will be a flame coming out the chimney. See it's filling with soot right now. I'm watching the soot line as well. It's still pretty cool, so I can grab it with a bare hand, but it's gonna be hot here soon. You can see my cone packs in there. Those are what I used to uh, indicate what temperature we're at. And I'm looking at the soot line there was soot all over the uh, cone pack that's in there, but it's kind of burnt off. And you want that process to go pretty slow, burning off the soot. You don't want to uh, let your flame from the firebox. See if we can peek in there. Yeah, you can see some pot lids and stuff. So the flame that's coming off of the fire don't want those flames to actually lick through and touch your pots until that soot line is burnt off. Otherwise you can kind of crack your pots during the firing. So I'm kind of on a stoking pattern of like two of these stave type sticks that I pick up. Two at a time, let those burn down a little bit and add another one. I'm going to walk around the kiln a little bit. Here's my wood pile. Some rubble from the kiln. You see what it is, is an old electric kiln that I had sitting around the shop. I cut it in half. Cut the electric kiln in half and turned it on its side and stacked it up on some kiln bricks that I had. So it's about three, three layers uh, tall. And this is the air intake, the flue. I've coated the whole thing. The side walls are actually made out of other parts of the electric kiln that I took apart. And the, the arch itself you can see is an old electric kiln turned on its side. I've coated it with several layers of red clay which I dig to make flower pots and I'm gonna be trying to do some cone six electric stuff with that red clay and uh, for the top layer I've mixed a little cement and sand Some of those layers in there have some perlite mixed in with it, like gardening perlite. If you can find a good price for it, it makes a really good insulation for kilns. So again, here's the air intakes. Kind of sloppy brick work, but it's not bad. It'll, it'll work. Well, I hope it'll work. This is my first time firing it, so we're gonna find out today. If I don't burn through all my wood. 
Actually, there's a little peephole. I'm just leaving it open for now. It was a, it was actually a peephole in the electric kiln. Let me stoke it and then we'll look back at it. Hope this isn't too shaky for you. I'm trying. Let's stoke it again. Soon here I'll have to wear gloves to do all this, but so far we're not melting any cones yet, so it's not that hot in there. Relatively, it's it's pretty hot in there, but relatively it's not. Now you see there's a little flame licking out of the uh, hole here. Every once in a while it'll pop out, and that's the flame trying to seek oxygen to burn. And as I said, soon flames should be coming out of here as well. It's getting a little smoky. I put a little bit too much wood in there, I think, but it's not too bad. You see, it's got a good, strong draw. It's really pulling pretty fast. So yeah, there it is, the electric kiln converted into a wood kiln. Last night I preheated the thing with a garden torch, a little garden burner that I have. Thanks for watching.